You're listening to Dan McCarty High Radio, WDMH. Hello. Welcome to our first radio show. Now, we have some great memories to share with you, so let's get started. Let me introduce to you, even after all these years, the one and only Richard Parker. Welcome to WDMH Radio, dedicated to keeping the spirit alive. Now let me invite you to tune in, turn on, and drop out. Well, at least for just a little while. Now together, let's enjoy one more time the sights and the sounds of the 60s and the 70s. Wow, man, take a look around. We've magically been transported back to a place and time where life was just a little bit slower. The people just a little bit nicer. And all that really mattered was beating the Vero Beach Indians. me, there's nothing to put a smile on your face faster than a walk down memory lane. And some of my fondest memories are of our days at McCarty High. Nothing will get me there quicker than hearing a classic rock and roll song from the 60s. Within the first two or three beats, my foot was tapping, a smile was spreading ear to ear, and I was back on those polished gymnasium floors at a Friday night victory dance. Win or lose, it was a pretty safe bet that it was going to be a great night. And that's what WDMH Radio is all about. It's our goal to give you a reason to smile each and every month and remember the tumultuous 60s that we called our childhood. Yes, it was a different place and time. A time that you could eat anything without worrying about gaining a pound. When sleep was optional, especially on the weekends when everyone was equally broke, but nobody knew it. And you could fall into true love three times in one semester. A time when you could get your kicks equally as easy on a Friday night at a football game or with six kids crammed into a rambler headed to Lums for steamed and beer hot dogs. 
And in 1966, Kicks was the name of the song written originally for the animals. But the band's lead singer, Eric Burden, turned it down. Instead, Paul Revere and the Raiders snapped it up, recorded it as a single, and it promptly soared to number one in Canada and number four in the United States. <laughs> What trip down memory lane would be complete without paying homage to the overriding thought that occupied virtually every waking hour for most 17-year-old boys, summed up perfectly in this 1970 breakthrough hit for David Gates and Bread. Don't know me well 
As they say in show business, that's a wrap. Our first WDMH radio show is now history. So what do you think? Do you want to see more? Simply put, it takes a lot of work to build one of these shows. But don't tell anybody. Personally, I enjoyed every minute of it. I was like a kid in the candy store, learning all the fun things I could do with my new Apple computer. Thank you, Santa Claus, a.k.a. Joni, my wife. I would be more than happy to continue producing future radio shows, but only if it brings value to the website, enjoyment to my classmates, and maybe puts a smile on your face. So let me know what you think. There's three ways to contact me and give me your thoughts. First, you can go to the website and complete the online questionnaire. You'll find it in the left-hand navigation bar, and it says uh, radio survey. Second, you can post your thoughts right there on the Coconut Telegraph forum. Let the whole class know what you think. I can hardly wait to hear somebody that suggests a different DJ. Number three, you can email me directly right off of the class website. So until next time, let's keep the spirit alive. And the very best way I know to keep the spirit alive is to keep on dancing. I keep on dancing, boy. Daddy, you wanna turn the jig right?